Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about how we could go about using organizations and instead of using like services on each and every account in the organization, how we could centrally manage the services. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, share the channel. We have created a lot of videos about AWS organizations and how they help centrally manage your workload and your multiple accounts that you may have. And to provide a quick overview, this is where AWS organizations will be having. You can centrally manage your accounts in here. And uh, this is where, like the earlier way without organizations is you could you could go into this website here and like you have multiple services that you have, like say you have backup service. You could go in here, you would need to create the backup of each and every like instances that you want to have. You could create a backup plan as part of the setup that you may, that you have. Uh, but also there's another way that it's, but if you go start going about to each and every account to start creating backups and considering in large organizations, you would have a lot of the accounts. So that can be problematic and administration and operation of each and every account individually is not going to work. So what is the alternative? Like guard duty is one example. There are other others as there's uh, there is uh, guard duty is another one. Backup was another one. So guard duty, I hope you all know. And if you don't, let me know, and I can always create a video on what exactly is guard duty on the setup. But uh, this is what guard duty is, and there are many other services that I'll go uh, to show. Let me go back to organization. You could see the list of all the services that are supported by organizations. So these are all the list of services that you can see where you can get a centralized control of the service. Like Guard Duty is one. DevOps Guru is another one. Inspector is another popular one, which is for vulnerability scanning. If you want to do for your VMs, they have even extended it now to S3. So you could do that. Macy is again for PII, PHI, any compliance requirements. And uh, we have other such ones. There is the backup that I mentioned, control tower if we if you use it, uh, but organization should be good enough. And like AWS helps to monitor the health of the systems across uh, different uh, accounts, so you could have it centrally managed out here. And uh, then you have the identity center that you could kind of go and then. But so you, I think you get the point. There are a list of services that instead of managing at individual account level, you could manage centrally. So rather than going on each one, let me show you how we could use the backup service and how it can be centrally administered. And if you want details on how to go about setting the backup service, uh, let me know and I can I can help you out. In here, what we need to do is, uh, like, let me just choose one of these. I could open a new tab. Now, this is where you see that we have these cross-account, my organization, cross-account monitoring and backup policies created as part of the backup setup. So what I need to first do is in the management account, this is where you see it's going to show you the management account that you need to see and enable. Now, what ideally you would need to do is you, you would need to create a delegated administrator. What the delegated administrator is, it's an account where you could centrally administer and operate all the other services that I just showed you. And management account is primarily for managing the resources, like permission sets, identities. That's what the management account will be used for. So here, what you could do is, first of all, you could click cross account monitoring. And this is where you could see what the jobs are. But for management account, other, other account, let me uh, open here another account and open in private window. So while this opens, let me go here in the backup. Now, one of the things that we need to do as part of the, the setting up the centralized administrator is in, instead of using this backup policies, there is some bug that this one, it doesn't really work. So what we need to do is we need to do the do it from here. You see the backup policies here. This is what you need to choose and enable backup policies. And this is where you will need to create the backup policies for each account. So if I choose this, I can choose the, uh, like the one I had shown, the CS account, and you could give a name. You could give the tags to your liking. And this is where you configure the plan. Now this, I can say that, okay, this is an 
you see two plans. The regions you can select. I'll just choose Virginia for now. And the backup rule, you could give the backup rule, which is again EC2. Now, this is where you want to give the backup vault. Backup vault, it could be in the individual accounts, which I definitely would recommend. You wouldn't want to have it centralized and it's better to just keep it dead. It could be because of compliance, security, or any other reason. So let me show you what I mean by this one. So this is the in private window. And once I come here, I can go to backup and I select this option. And now in here, I can create a backup vault. And this is the default vault. I also just not to create, use this default vault. You could use it, but I, I like to create my own vault with my own naming conventions. It makes it a little more easier to track. EC2 vault. You should definitely use a KMS key for encryption. As if you, and like I'd always create one, uh, keep the default for now. AWS one, that's fine. And just create, create backup wall. It's as simple as that. Uh, doesn't take much. So you could just copy this name and I go back to the other video that is there. So this is where I just give the name. You choose the options that is there. Which one you want to have? You could have daily, hourly, uh, right? Whatever the option you want. You could have a custom as well. You could have further rules created as part of this, but there it needs to be transition to cold storage retention period. I'll just say for one day. I don't need to do it. Now, this is where you could have a, uh, like a copy of the backup as well. You could kind of move this backup to another region if you want for DR purposes. Uh, that's for disaster recovery purposes. It could be very useful instead of trying to create some rules. So that is where they have really expanded the service to help you out. But for now, I'll leave it. I don't need to do this. I'll just hit add rule. This year, okay. This is the rule now that's added over here. Now, what are the resources I need to do? I'll hit, I will say EC2. And what I need to do is in this other account, I need to create a new rule. Go to IAM. And, and this is where I can create a new rule. Now I create a rule and, uh, I could choose backup in here and use the backup rule. And I could, for now, I'll just give it full access. You can just choose this and give it a name. Just copy this and create the rule. Now, once this rule is created, you could always go in here and uh, go back to your previous one and provide the rule name of that you want to have backups on that particular account. So this is what you will need to do. Uh, you should definitely use tags here. Like if I go, this is the other account that is there, the ECS account. So if I go to say some resource I spin up out here, as of now, there may not be any resources in this new account. Yeah, there are no resources created here, but when you have a resource, you will be able to Tag it. So that is what the tag you want to put. And over here, what I can say is backup VMs, non-prod environment. Or I could say just uh, production. These, this is the key. This is the value for the VMs that have this tag that should be backed up. So it becomes simpler instead of putting the individual resources. So you could hit add assignment. It will add it for you. Once this is done, the backup policy is going to be created. Now, this backup policy is where you see in this centralized place, but also if you want, you could go to the backup policies. It should show up here as well. So this is a tricky way. Probably it's a feature or a bug, but uh, this is how you need to set it up in using organizations for centrally administering the backups. Another thing that we, we need to do is as part of this backup here, and we are sitting here, I need to do cross account monitoring setup. Uh, actually I need to go here for the cross account monitoring. Now this is again, it's something good to do. You should have these like services that are there that you want to back up. And you see that there are a lot of these services that you could use to back up. Just choose the ones that you want to do. But this is where I was saying that you need to have cross account monitoring turn on here. So this is where you could turn on the cross account monitoring. Now, the register, you could del register delegated administrator. So in this case, uh, I could just choose one of these other sites that I have as part of a delegated administrator and go about so do uh, doing the administration on this one account. So in the ECS account, I will be able to administer all the backups of all the accounts that are there. But now this is another thing. Maybe it's another uh, 
thing that they're going to fix or implement. As of now, you could even do this even in the management account. Like a lot of services, uh, such as card duty, and I can make him the video. They will not allow you to administer in the management account. Only in the delegated admin account, you can administer. But this is where you can go here. I think I already have this. And you can always do the cross-account monitoring. And this is where you could do a bunch of queries based on the account. I have these accounts here. So you could do that. You could do on the job ID. You could give RDS, uh, whatever. And you can start monitoring the backups out here. This is where, like if I go here, I could see the plan here. As part of this, I'll see the... The setup, this is the automatic plan. We don't need to do this. But this is the backup policies. You'll start seeing the backup policies. Uh, the backup world, you don't have, I don't have anything created. This is the default EFS one that is created. But, uh, for the one that I created, it's going to be starting to backup on each account and we'll do. So I hope this was able to clarify how to centrally start choosing the services mentioned in AWS organization, all these services. And you can extend this not just for backup. And you should actually extend this for other services as well instead of each and every account. And it will help your monitoring to be simplified. It will help your services administration to be simplified. And at the end, simplify your overall operations and reduce your organization's cost. So please drop in a comment if you like the video. And if you want me to continue on this to show you other services as well, we can do the same. Thank you. And please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.